Good evening, everyone. How are you? <laughs> I'm looking to see where I am so I can chat with you a little bit. Everyone knows I'm Red Wine. You can call me Red Wine. Good evening, everyone. How are you? <laughs> Hi, Millie. Hi, Leslie Ann. Hi, Andrea. Hey, Boo. I wanted to continue on with my conversations. My, um, my first live broadcast was on, hi, Julie, was, um, my first live broadcast was on eye contact during sex. And my second one was on sex and entanglement. I followed that up with that. And this is my third live broadcast. So I am going to follow up with <sighs> so many topics we can talk, talk about when it comes to sex, right? And love and stuff. So I'm going to follow up with, um, with different exciting areas that we have used for our sexual encounters. So I want you guys to let me know where was, where is it that, that you had one of your most exciting sexual encounters? Because I think that makes it a little bit more exciting. I think that 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 makes the end result, which is orgasms, I think that makes it come a little bit faster, a little bit more quickly. Um, Julie, hello there, love. And Peggy, hey. Nathan, hello. Sherla, my little brother, hello. Sandy, hello. Julie, bring it on. Um, let's see if my, if my, Dave, hello, hi. So one of the most exciting areas outside of the bedroom that I had sex with, that I had sex in is, um, <sighs> I think in the office, like on a desk, when we were on the desk. I think that was very exciting. <laughs> I think because of the fact that we were not in our regular bedroom, I think because we were on a desk and I was able to just spread out, it was a little bit more exciting. <laughs> And we, we want to figure out ways to, to actually get that fire lit or keep the fire burning, right? So besides the office, in a car, believe it or not, my very, very first boyfriend, we had very fiery, fiery experiences in a car. I remember trying to have to fit myself into totally different positions to be able, and I, you know, we can't use those particular words here. So, <laughs> Peggy's laughing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> On her mom bed whilst mom was cooking right down the hall. Look at Sherlon, that must have been very exciting. That must have been very exciting. <laughs> so talking about talking about mom and talking about bed, that reminded me of a time when I did have sex in in the bedroom on the same bed with my boyfriend's mom in the same bed, in the same bed. Um, let me just clarify, we were having a long distance relationship. It was the first time that I was seeing him in a very long time. 
we were dying, dying to explore each other like we normally do. And his mom was sleeping in the same bed with us because we had nowhere else for her to sleep. And we did steal a sexual encounter in that bed. And let me tell you, that orgasm was one of the most exciting orgasms. I couldn't scream like I normally do because I'm very vocal when I'm having sex. I, I can't help it because I'm always in the moment. And I don't think his mom heard anything. I was able to have my orgasm. He was able to come and we will never forget that experience because it was one of the sweetest orgasms I had ever had. And he said to me that it was one of his best experiences when it came to um, sexual encounters. <laughs> I think Miranda is like, I think somewhere, you know, people looking at the bedroom, but the blinds open, candlelight, and you know they're looking. Wow, Miranda. That is exciting. That is truly exciting. Good night, Adila. Nice to have you here. Good night, Chin Lu. You made it. I'm so happy to see you. On a hotel balcony, Peggy. Wow, I did that, Peggy. Peggy, I did that, and that was pretty exciting. I think that was also one of my riveting orgasms. <laughs> Julie, on the boat, was stranded and waiting for help? Wow, how was that? Oh, my goodness. And I think in one of these experiences where you're kind of stealing it, in the moment, you really can't like take off all of your clothes, right? You can't, you cannot. So you kind of have to like maybe make room with your underwear and just kind of slip it in there so that you don't um so that you don't get noticed by anyone. <laughs> but I believe for you to slip it in there, you totally have to have those juices flowing. You have to have those juices flowing for you to just, for you to just slip it in there. <laughs> Mind blowing. Yes, yes, yes. If the fear of getting caught, Dave Huggins, yes, I think that makes it exciting. The fear of getting caught actually makes it even more exciting. Hey, Colin, nice to have you here. <laughs> Pull the panties to the side, Miranda. That's true. That is the easiest way. And I think that is the sexiest and hardest way when you have to pull those panties to the side. <laughs> Yolanda, you're laughing. Colin, your ears are perked. What do you say? Millie Delgado on the stairs because you couldn't make it to the bedroom. Yep, because you're so hot. You're so ready that you cannot wait until you get to the bedroom. So on the stairs, yep, I can see that. I've never done it on the stairs, but I can totally see that. Chin Lu, once on the NYC subway, New York City subway platform college days, that's fine. That's fine. I'm sure you could. I'm sure you would like to relive those college days because those are exciting. <laughs> those are very exciting. <laughs> Alex Delgado, you remember that? Wow, look at that. <laughs> the kitchen floor, Adila, in the park, in the back seat, on top the chest freezer. Hot, hot, hot. That's hot. That's really hot. <laughs> Millie, you know Alex has to join in and put his piece in. The kitchen floor is good, Adila. I've never done it on the kitchen floor. And I remember Beyonce talking about the kitchen, having sex in the kitchen. I do like that. I have a big countertop, big granite countertop that I would love to make use of. I'm going to catch my man on this countertop. I am. Yes, I please. totally am. <laughs> Let's see. Where else have I had sex in a weird place, but it was really, really good. Um, in the car, I have to say I'm coming back to the car because in the car, it's usually as much as you're trying to find space, 
to have fun and slip it in there. I think in the car is really exciting. I think it is in a parking lot. Yolanda Henry in the parking lot. Yes, 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 yes. And also, <laughs> wow, that wasn't the only place in the kitchen, Adila. Wow. Yep, I'm sure it wasn't. <laughs> I'm sure it wasn't. I do remember though. Um, oh, Miranda, I would love to do it on a bathroom with slight turbulence. Yep. Yep, I could see that. Shaking you all over the place, letting it hit you in different spots while it's in there. Love it. Love it. Mm -hmm. In the car after party and can't wait to get home. Yes, Dave. Because you're so hot, you're dancing in the party. You're like jamming up and down. You're jamming up on each other and you're just ready. You're ready. No airplane. I'm not a member of the high mile, mile high club. Neither am I. I think the airplane bathrooms are really small, but I'm not giving that up. I may very well try that in there. <laughs> Very, very much so. I'm not giving that up at all, that airplane. <laughs> Maybe you tried it in the car while he was driving. You know what? I would leave that for maybe like blowjobs. I could see myself and I have done it. I have done it. Giving blowjobs in the car while he's driving. Totally. But for me to actually sit on him or actually get into penetration while he's driving i think that might be kind of tough i think that might be kind of tough on the beach at night ronda guppy i like that i have done it on the beach but it was daylight and we had like a, a blanket like one of those beach towers over us and that was a quick orgasm that orgasm came like that so yes i can totally see that in the jet bridge before arrivals, Alex Delgado, look at you. That is exciting. I never tried that. I should have. Maybe when next I'm traveling, before anyone boards the plane, I'm going to have to check that out. <laughs> In the water, Peggy Benjamin. Wow. No one even noticed, I'm sure, because they're so busy enjoying their, their beach bath that they wouldn't even have a clue. Run the guppy in the movies. I did try it in the movies. I did, and that was also very exciting. That's exciting. <laughs> so, guys, I, you know, all this talk about sex in all these different places, I may just have to jump off here and get my man on this granite countertop to see what is it that we can do here because I've been dying to get him on here. So we are going to continue this conversation when next I go live because that's what I do. I pop in and pop out just like the quickies. <laughs> So, at a party with everyone there, Andrea, we are going to have to hear about that on our next live. We're going to have to talk about that some more, but I am out of here. Thank you so much for joining me. Ciao for now. Thank you so much for your company, and we will continue this conversation when I am not so hot and bothered and turned on. <laughs> I gotta go jump my man now because I am ready. <laughs> Hi, Shauna. <laughs> what? Yep, he's gonna get his, Melly. He's gonna get his. <laughs> Miranda, make it work, make it work. <laughs> Very true, Chinlu. We need to talk about three songs. <laughs> love it. God, how I love your company. I love your company, guys. Ciao for now.
now. Take good care, everybody. Take good care.